Welcome to the Open Job Pink Couch, and it's a special day. We are celebrating Travel Agent Day, and as such, of course, we have the president of ACTA, and we have Tina, the travel agent, <laughs> because we are celebrating travel agents. Now, Wendy, what I want to ask you, in your position, do you see what we read so much about, that travel agents are popular once again? Absolutely. I think that years ago that uh, when, especially when the internet came uh, full force, that there was a, um, an idea that travel agents would become redundant. And, uh, and for a time, it looked like people were really moving towards the internet. But what we see at ACTA and what we hear from our members and some of the research that we see from around the world is that uh, travel agents are back in style and that uh, humans want to deal with humans. Yes. And I think that uh, one of the uh, great things about the internet from a travel agent perspective is that there's so much information, it's overwhelming. So our subject matter experts, our um, people in Canada, travel agents who know all about the product, all about the documentation required that can really get some excitement right from the beginning of the trip that uh, we have uh, more and more uh, travel agents. Um, uh, again, becoming more popular. And I will say I've traveled across the country uh, this uh, uh, winter and uh, the travel offices have been busy yeah. and I've met yeah. lots of million dollar plus travel agents and um, they are very, very successful. So uh, things are looking uh, quite good uh, for travel agents on this travel agent day. Woohoo! All right, well said, well said. All right, now, if I put myself in the shoes of a travel agent who's listening, I'm, I'm, I can't do a very good Tina voice, but <laughs> um, what have you done for me lately? Okay. That's a question that arises a lot. I think there's a lot of confusion as to the role of ACTA. There's a lot of misunderstanding as to what your purpose is in supporting the industry. So, great. Okay. The floor is yours. All right, thank you. Uh, so as far as travel agents and travel agencies uh, go, it is our reason for being. It's 100% of what we do and who we're dedicated to. And so at ACTA, we have uh, a mantra that we focus on four pillars, which is advocate for travel agencies, educate and um, elevate professionalism for travel agencies and travel agents. We connect um, travel agents with each other as well as uh, with our industry partners. And uh, we also promote travel agents um, in the media, um, uh, travel industry media as well as mainstream media, as well as um, with um, all of our partners as well. Um, and mostly, I shouldn't say mostly, but a really key area is promoting the value of travel agencies uh, to regulators, governments, etc. that we are a very vibrant, viable industry. Now, I imagine that's not the sexy part. No, it's not, <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> it's a lot of meetings with um, government officials that I'm sure get a little bit bogged down in bureaucracy. Do they understand the value? Because what I find when I speak to people who are not on our side of the business, and you talk about travel, they think tourism. They hear tourism. Um, and it's not about tourism, it's about outbound. That's where most of the business, the dollars and cents really of the industry are. Do they understand that? Uh, so I, I agree with you in that they uh, first and foremost think about uh, Canadian tourism. And so we actually, the travel industry is a, a multi-billion dollar industry. Exactly. So the economic um, development input that we have into the economy is quite significant, um, as well as living really well anywhere in the world, but particularly particularly Canada, uh, that it's cold in the winter and uh, Canadians want to travel. And so I think it's um, really important, and so does the government. Uh, so I think that uh, they do recognize us, but they definitely underestimate um, the amount of work that we do. Um, as you know, that uh, we are a lean, mean industry, so uh, we um, have to be very careful with our resources. And one of our key goals of at ACTA is to remove as much red tape as possible so that our travel agencies and travel agents can focus on selling and then ACTA in the background, we focus on taking care of all of those details. So as you said, it's not 100% um, exciting um, from compared to let's say selling a cruise or um, booking someone at an all-inclusive, but it's very, very important work so that our, our members can focus on what they do best. Um, another example, 
people uh, that, of course, you're not thinking about while you're sitting in front of a client is that uh, we recently found out that um, Canadian travel agencies are the wor fourth worst in the world when it comes to debit memos. And so we were very shocked to learn that. And um, that means literally millions of dollars going out of the travel agency's wow. pocket. And so what we've done is that we have been advocating for our, um, uh, our members and um, we are now um, uh, able to get a solution in place, even though, for instance, IAD is global. Yeah. Um, so it's hard to get Canada, which isn't the biggest market in the world, to get to the top of the list. But we have been able to do that, and relief will come to travel agencies in um, the fall of 2018. Uh, that is a huge success, and we will literally save the industry um, millions of dollars um, <laughs> over the next couple of years. But again, that's us working behind the scenes right. on behalf of our agencies and members. Right. A lot of the owners um, and presidents and CEOs that we work with at travel agencies, they understand that. Um, but again, I think to see that benefit rate um, on an everyday basis is uh, sometimes uh, difficult. And Wendy, when are you going to bring commissions back? Oh uh, well, you know we are <laughs> always no, no. That's that, that is a that is something that we hear about all of the well, time. I'm sure you do. And that um, and in some cases commissions are back, and um, and in some time and in some cases it's a real fight. Um, what we would say at our, at ACTA is that we are always promoting the uh, value of travel agencies, and travel agencies bring great revenue, quality revenue. Um, I will say uh, to our. Uh, travel partners because they can directionally sell and they can take an unexpressed need or desire of a travel traveler and really take them to that next level, which is what travel agents can do and not necessarily a computer. And so I think that um, we um, are making some strides um, as far as um, that goes with partners and they are recognizing the quality uh, business that travel agents bring to them, but it is a really tough, tough situation. And uh, many of our members have commercial agreements with different uh, suppliers. So although we advocate and defend members about commissions um, right across the board, that that really is a commercial issue between a Indeed. travel industry partner and a travel agency. Indeed. I'm surprised you even took my question uh, seriously. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's at least somewhat positive. Yeah. And, and no, go ahead. No, what I was going to say is that um, it may look like uh, that it's a it's sort of a losing situation over time. But I will say that we really behind the scenes um, go after our partners, um, travel partners, and we really object to some of the um, situations that happen. And um, you know, maybe sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, but we hope that they think twice. Um, before they do something differently, um, and that um, and that there is an organization that really is looking after the best interests of the travel agencies right across the country. Think twice, because Wendy's in town. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, happy birthday, travel agents, viewers, and um, we look forward to even better news next year. Excellent. Thanks, Wendy. Thank you.